you will learn about tilling and sowing. What are the equipments used for tilling the soil? We use a plough, a hoe or a cultivator to till the soil in the field. What are the uses of ploughs? Ploughs have been in use since ancient times for tilling soil, adding manure, fertilizers, and for scraping of soil. Earlier, ploughs were made from wood. Nowadays, iron ploughs have become more popular. Bulls, horses, and camels are used to pull ploughs. Are used to pull ploughs. What are the different parts of a plough? Plough shaft is the main part of a plough. The handle is present at one end of a plough shaft. The other end of the plough shaft has a beam attached to it. The beam is placed on the neck of the animals pulling the plough. This triangular iron strip is known as a ploughshare. What are the uses of hoe? Earlier, hoe was used for tilling, but these days we use it only to remove weeds. Hoe has a long rod of iron. However, the rod can also be made up of wood. There is a strong rod and bent plate of iron attached to one of its end. This plate works like a blade. It removes weeds and loosens the soil. What are the different parts of a cultivator? The field cultivator has a row of metal shanks or teeth placed in a rectangular frame. A wheel is attached at each end of the rectangular frame. When the cultivator is pulled by a tractor, the teeth assist in breaking the soil. Using a cultivator saves labor and time. Sowing of seeds is carried out once the tilling is done. The first step in sowing seeds is selection of good quality, high yield seeds. How to differentiate between good and damaged seeds? There is a simple test to differentiate good and healthy seeds from the damaged ones. Let us take a beaker half filled with water and put a handful of seeds in the beaker and stir the seeds. The healthy seeds will sink in the beaker while the damaged seeds will float. Healthy seeds contain more nutrients and they are heavy. Hence, they sink. Damaged seeds are hollow and they contain fewer nutrients. Also, the seeds are discolored. Hence, they float. What are seed drills and their types? Seed drills are used for sowing seeds. There are two types of seed drills. A traditional and a modern seed drill. What is a traditional seed drill? A traditional seed drill is a funnel-shaped container attached to two or three pipes. It is attached to a plough. The farmers fill the funnel with seeds. The seeds pass through the pipes. The sharp ends of the pipes pierce holes into the soil and place the seeds into the soil. What is a modern seed drill? A modern seed drill is superior to a traditional seed drill. The seeds get sown at a proper depth and distance. Moreover, the modern version covers the seeds with a layer of soil, keeping the seeds well out of a bird's reach. It also saves a lot of time. A traditional seed drill does not provide these advantages. What are the basic requirements for the seeds to germinate? Seeds require water, air, and warmth to germinate. 
If seeds are not sown at proper depths, they will not get these in adequate proportion and won't germinate. When the proper distance is not maintained among the seeds, the seeds will have to compete for sunlight, nutrients and water. Hence their growth will be hampered. Do we sow seeds of all crops directly in the fields? Seeds of some crops like tomatoes cannot be sown directly into the field. So they are first sown in a nursery and the saplings are planted in the field. Some examples are chilies, potatoes, cabbages and...